quick defeats. Frank, listen, let me, let me move on and ask you a couple of questions about next week. One of the big things that's popped up about Ricky Hatton next week, 55,000 tickets sold, and suddenly we keep hearing, and it keeps coming from the Hatton camp, how they've got a chest infection or they've got a cold, and they're going to fight with that. What? Just tell us the absolute truth, Frank, if you can. He, what, he, what's he, the picked story? Up a, he picked up a virus, but most super fit athletes do pick up a virus much quicker than anyone else does. If you're super fit, you're prone to pick up viruses. He's had some medical um, um, advice, and he, he's 100% fit. He's back in the gym. I mean, you know, it's the what, it's the way it comes across. It's the way other people want to jump on it. It's the way other people, you know, certain people who live in glass houses you can throw stones. I mean, yeah. um, Hatton's 100% fit. He's not going to go in the ring and let himself down. There's too much on the line. If he wasn't ready to fight, he would not go through with the fight. Will this be his last fight in Britain? Um, that's down to the Hattons. I'm working for them on one fight, and um, whatever their plans are for the future, I don't really know at the moment. All right, Frank. Uh, well, I uh, really appreciate your time uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much, and I'll, I'll take that on board. It is, the, it is the fittest and the elite who tend to have illnesses. I'll remember that next time I'm ill. Uh, Frank, thanks a lot for your time. Steve, can I just ask Mr. Bunn something? Oh, yeah, of course you can. Steve, I'm just do we're just doing our press list, and your name hasn't appeared in it. Are you not coming to the fight? Yeah, I'm doing it for Five Live, BBC oh, Five Live. Oh, you're working for them, that's why you're not... All right, then. All right, Sorry, mate. I mean, let me in, Frank, I'm a nice fella. <laughs> I don't know about that, Steve, I'm not sure about that, but I'll speak to you later. Still <laughs> <laughs> out, Frankie. Thank you. Right. Frank Maloney, and also thanks to uh, Alex Arthur as well. So, uh, very interesting. Didn't sound... Uh, Sound like he was too keen to get you in there. No, no. Listen, what what it is? This this fight is a fifty-five thousand seat sellout, and it's not a rubbish sellout. It's not it's not what we call papered. It's genuine. So they've got a big clump of people at ringside. The last thing you need, if you've paid hundred and fifty quid and you're, for, you're twenty rows back, and you look down and you see where the press are, and there's twenty empty seats. I don't know about you, but that's an insult. Yeah. That's wrong. Don't you think so? Yeah, that is wrong. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, I, I hate the idea of that. You know, you've got your punt. You know, your family, your friends, your punters, your fans, and in Ricky's case. 55,000 of them, and they've paid good money, hard-earned money, and there's all these empty seats where the press are. So uh, Frank Maloney especially really stays, he's real hands-on, Frank, and he always stays on top of the press seats. And, and you never, ever see an empty seat when he's involved. Not because he can sell it, because it's an insult to the people that have bought tickets. Definitely. I'm off my high horse now, so carry Definitely. on. Definitely. We'll be more from both of you after the break. More